And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, your next act is our comedian for the evening, very funny gentleman, and very good friend of mine. Please put your hands together for Mr. Butch Escobar. Hey, thanks for, uh, thank you guys, man. That was real nice of you. you. Know what I look like? Trust me, this is not what I thought was gonna happen when I was nine years old. I was thinking more like Michael Knight from Knight Rider or the dude who flew Airwolf. Maybe John Poncherello from Chips. You know what I mean? He's a handsome Mexican fella. This is just a lot of bad mistakes later, you guys. This is a lot of bad decisions in life later. I gotta look like this, though. I gotta look like this, okay? Because one, first of all, if I shave everything, I look like a giant earthworm. I'm a stoner, you guys. It's hard being a big guy. You know what I mean? Like, it is. It's hard. It sucks being a big guy. You wanna know why? Because we're the people you call when you need shit moved around your house. It's like owning a truck your whole life. You can't get out of it. Like, and you call with, it's the dumbest question. You call with the, you never call us for any other reason. And when you see us at, like you don't even talk to us at like holidays. You see us walk in and you're like, oh, he's gonna eat all the meatballs. I just know it. You know what I mean? But you never, then you call the one day with the dumbest question. Do you want to come over and help me move? Do you want, are you wanting? Do you want? Nobody wants to help anybody move. There's not one person right now on this planet that's like, man, I sure could move something right now. I wonder who has an apartment full of crap I need to get. Like, no, don't, don't call us, okay? What do they offer us? Pizza and beer. Not even money, you know what I mean? Like, full days work a laborer, like, just come over and eat some pizza and beer, you big fat ass. Like, like, am I really that big that I'm like, like, you think that I'm walking around the planet like, man, I sure could move a refrigerator right now. I need some pizza and beer. You're like, no. I'm gonna go over to your house and I'm gonna eat your pizza and drink your beer. And then I'm gonna pass out on that couch I was gonna help you move because I'm not refrigerator lifting big. I'm smoking weed, eating Cheetos, and playing video games big. It's a different kind of animal. Like, I don't care about, like, being green as much as you people in this city do. I mean, it's obvious, like, you have five garbage cans on every corner, you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand, like, I, you know, I can't do the math, you know what I mean? I live in Oakland, we throw everything in the street, some guy comes along and collects it, you know what I mean? Like, how many that live here have kids? Exactly, why the fuck are you trying to save the planet? That's the whole point of like, we need to save, because you're not gonna be here, you know what I mean? Like, they will. But you don't even have children, I do. Stop fucking saving the planet for these assholes. Okay, no, for real, I do. I have, I have, I'm a single father, which means that I, uh, I don't like children, yet nature decided to go ahead and give me one anyway. So I don't like children. They're like little homeless people living in your house. Think about it, they have missing teeth, they smell like shit, and they're always asking for shit. That's a fucking homeless person living in your house. If I have to watch Dora the Explorer one more time, I'm going to find a little Mexican girl and I'm gonna punch her in the face. There's no need for Dora the Explorer anymore. Like, it's I hate Dora. You know what I mean? Mexican people, they're like, she's just teaching the world Spanish. No, she's not. No, she's not. She's showing white people in the rest of the world that Mexican parents are shitty parents. Okay? Think about it. No, for real. Think about it. Who allows their eight-year-old daughter to run around the jungles of Mexico with a fucking monkey, all right? It's like, here, take these tamales to grandma. You know, the fox is the least of your worries, sweetheart. There's like cartel members going coke, hacking people's heads off. You're just like, go get, go, like, go to the store for some shit. You know what I mean? Like, get, take your monkey with you. Fuck you. Give her up M16, a flak vest and a machete. You know what I mean? Put Danny Trejo out there with her or something. She's always standing in front of shit that's obviously there too. Like, that, I hate that. Like, she's always like, where is the castle? Do you see the castle? And I'm like, there's a fucking castle right there. There's not many fucking castles in Mexico. Turn around and look at the castle. This is this a clean show? Okay. My name is Butch Escobar. Thank you guys so much. Butch Escobar, ladies and gentlemen.